hi guys hope you are doing good uh, in the very previous video we have learned about some uh, basic introduction of javascript but uh, in today's video we are going to see how we can able to implement javascript in our web browser and we need some software for this purpose uh, to imp to so that we can convert a javascript language into a machine code or a, a language that can be easily understandable by a, a web browser so uh, we can use different softwares like Sublime Text Editor, uh, Notepress Plus Plus, and uh, VS Code for this purpose. For this series, uh, we are going to use uh, VS Code uh, because VS Code is much more powerful and uh, it has a, a numerous number of features for coding in different languages. Uh, so first, you have to go to Google and write VS Code download. Then uh, you can see this screen. Here you can go to uh, download VS Code. Now from here, if you are using Windows or you are using Mac or any other yeah, Ubuntu uh, like things, you can download for yourself. Uh, but I am using Windows, so I am going with Windows. So here you can see uh, downloaded to start. You can download. I have already downloaded this VS Code version. Uh, let me go to my downloads. Here you can see I have my VS Code version. Uh, you have to follow all these steps you have to watch all the uh, video carefully as well as uh, follow all these steps must follow all these steps so you can overcome any hurdle in future make sure to check these uh, inbox uh, it will be empty in uh, for you if you are installing uh, vs code for the first time uh, please uh, make sure to tick both uh, checkbox then press next then you can install I have already installed a VS Code, but I am installing uh, again for you guys. And, and and it doesn't matter if you already have VS Code, you can install over and you can overwrite it. It will not wipe out your any setting. So it will just overwrite some files on previous install. So here uh, we have finished our VS Code installation. Now I can launch. Here I have my VS Code, but uh, there is some other projects running. So let me close the VS Code first. Now, if uh, I go to my any folder, any folder JavaScript basics video number two, and if I want to open VS Code here, you can right click on the this space and you can see here is an open with code. When you click on this, the VS Code will open on that particular folder. Yes, I trust the author. Uh, you can see V2 here is the particular folder v2 i have in my e drive uh, i have opened vs code in my e drive now if i create any file here like hamza dot html if i create any file here then you can see the file already created here as well so in this way you can open uh, vs code on the required uh, directory and this is one of the easy way and this if you are not uh, if this option is not coming for you you can uh, see the video again so you you haven't checked those two uh, checkbox I told you before okay let's go with our uh, first implementation process we have two type of uh, ways to in, uh, implement a JavaScript in our web browser uh, first of all when you have this uh, VS code installed properly uh, after that go to this icon extensions icon and search here live server now you can see this live server you can install this live server I have already installed in my VS code uh, when you when your installation is finished then go to this icon first icon explorer here you can add a new file name um, index.html or any name you want now here uh, first of all I have to write some HTML code HTML head body Here is some HTML code, head body, and in head we have head title. So, here is some code. JavaScript in the title. Okay, uh, by using uh, this uh, live server, we can, when we right click, 
and we have this open with private server this option is not showing to you uh, you can go to uh, the extension and check if your live server is installed properly so go to live server open with live server allow access you can see the first page of our web page is appeared index.html is the name and here is the uh, title of javascript here so this is our first website page and if we want to write some javascript code we can go to body tag and we can write a script tag script and the closing script tag here as well and we can write any javascript in between those script tag okay uh, suppose I want to write some JavaScript code and very easily very easy code of JavaScript document dot write and this bracket in this bracket I'm going to write hello world sorry hello world if I write hello world and save now uh, the whenever I save the browser you can see my live server or auto refresh the browser as well so here you can see hello world here you can see the hello world I hello world written on our web browser this is the way we can implement javascript by using these script tags inside our body of html you can also uh, write the script tag into head of html as well but uh, i will recommend you to use those uh, script tags in the body of javascript uh, body of html code what is the second way to implement the javascript uh, the second way is to create uh, another file of uh, index.javascript js js is the extension of javascript if you write index.js uh, you can see uh, we can write any code of uh, javascript here suppose if we write document dot write and here we can uh, write hello world okay hello world semicolon save and if we remove this script tag from here so see let's see uh, what happened if we remove script tag and all the thing and we have this hello world here let's see if we refresh there is nothing why there is nothing because we haven't connect this index.js file with our web browser HTML because uh, our web browser only read HTML file and then we then from there our web browser can read JavaScript okay uh, you have to understand these things if we write script here and uh, we write SRC script SRC and in SRC or source file we can uh, put index.javascript here okay now if we add this script here and we can add this source file of index.js now see whenever I uh, save the file you can see hello world here so these are some two ways uh, the one way is to write a script tag here and uh, in between those script tag you can write anything like document dot write and here you can write from HTML file and in this index.js you can write from JS uh, file save now see we have from HTML file as well as well as we have uh, from JS file both codes are uh, present here because uh, these both ways are uh, legit and the, uh, these are the ways to implement JavaScript in our, in our web browser this is just a basic video of implementation of JavaScript in our web browser in the very next video we will see the variables and data types of JavaScript uh, for better understanding of JavaScript but this is uh, uh, for this video this is it this is just an implementation video and uh, if you want me uh, to make video on uh, VS Code uh, other features of VS Code and extensions of VS Code then I will make another video for VS Code as well. You can comment below.
if you want a VS Code video as well. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and share with your friends.